All right, uh, my people, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And uh, I believe, say, as an Adonde with us from the beginning, and Adonde is say, we give on all the information we need, and Adonde enjoying ourselves so far. Uh, where we talk, say, we get uh, some better interviews we will be get on the show today via Skype. Because, uh, and that's why it don't be now, because of uh, the coronavirus uh, situation, we know if they get our guests inside studio. So we say, make we take them a notch higher to uh, be able to converse with our guests uh, via Skype. And uh, today, we get uh, one uh, very special uh, person in a vision artist and the uh, name na uh, Adubi Midas Makinde. So we're going to look into the things when they do and uh, how it take be for them being in this industry and since say this industry not too large like that for Niger, how in they cope. And so far the coronavirus how it take effect and so maybe we welcome on the show uh, with us today um uh, Midas Makinde um uh, welcome sir you are very welcome Hello, Gamakinde, you did it? Hello. Yes, sir. Good to good to see you. Yes, I'm here. All right. Yeah, thank all you. Right. Correct. Thank, thanks for having No wahala. No wahala. You are welcome on the show. So myself and my co-I anchor we did here, her name is Olive, and uh, we're going to talk uh, about this uh, conversation, small, small, more even start from there. So you be visual artist, you understand? And uh, waiting for people yes. who don't know waiting visual artists be, and if you just give us a shed small light on waiting visual artists they do and waiting they be, more no for more begin from there. Okay. okay. Uh, we visual artists, we are the ones that uh, express ourselves through the use of uh, drawing, compositions, and color to tell stories. Hmm. To tell stories that is happening right during our own lifetime as we are living. So we call it documenting event. We, we okay. educate people with artwork. We uh, bring to the, to, to, we bring to the, uh, with artwork. So visual artists are basically people that do paintings and even sometimes too, through other form of uh, of uh, medium, maybe mm. like performance art and some other things. So that's what we do. Mm. That's what uh, the visual artist award like. How important is it, you know, to to extract work of visual artists? Seeing that we have several conversations that are ongoing or that need to be had right now, I'll give you several instances in Nigeria. There's currently a uh, problem of rape and gender-based violence and unfortunately also to support that unfortunate act we have a rape culture amongst us around the world there's a trend of the black lives movement uh, black lives matter movement how important is it you know to look at the work of visual artists in line with telling stories that are currently trending in the society okay good um apart from uh even this COVID uh, pandemic that we also have that is also ongoing now, we visual artists, we've been making consistent efforts to tell the world unique stories about rape and uh, the Black Lives Matter that is right now ongoing in the U.S. Uh, if you check online now, there are so many artists who are actively doing projects to engage the narrative about all these underlying chaos so that they can be documented in a way that in the next 20 years, 100 years, probably some other things will have happened. But people can still look back and say, okay, in this kind of the, uh, ways, artists have given their voices, they've contributed to uh, bringing a change to so many of these societal uh, issues. So we artists are really, really uh, doing our best to, to contribute in so many aspects. And we are making sure that people are, are aware that these things are serious and there is a, a need for uh constitutional and structural change for our life to move forward hmm. for 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 the society for for society to uh, to become advanced so 
uh, the visual art cannot be underestimated in this aspect of uh, their, their craft and voice to all these issues. Okay, now speaking about the industry, the uh, visual artist industry, uh, we know, say, in Nigeria, um, art is not as valued as it ought to be because a lot of times people still don't understand uh, the, the work and you know, the aspect behind it. People feel that, eh, some people can just grow up to be artists now, and I just, you can use it as a hobby and just start doing it. So it doesn't have so much value yet in Nigeria, which we know that that is not uh, supposed to be because in um, foreign countries, art is very, very, you know, valuable. People pay lots of money to, to do that. But in Nigeria, it's quite uh, not the same. So what would you say is the disconnect? Where is the problem? Is it the people? Who, don't, who are not aware, or is it the, the artist not, you know, giving in, um, enough uh, awareness about how what they do uh, should be worth? So where do you think the issue is? Okay, uh, based on this question that you just had now, it is not the case that artists are not uh, doing enough to make the society know that uh, are there and valuable. In fact, let me even tell you some figurative facts now. Mm -hmm. There are many artists who are actively living off their art practice, even here in Lagos alone. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to go, you know, in, in about the, the Nigerian mm -hmm. uh, consciousness in large. So, art practice is very huge and massive. It's just the case that it is more or less like an L, like an elite, uh, it, it's like an it, it, it is a work that is driven by the elite in the society, mm -hmm. and okay. it is focused towards the elite. So, uh, let me say, the majority of people in Nigeria, probably because of uh, the poor economic situation, mm -hmm. do not really know much about what is happening in the world of art mm -hmm. and the art market. So. Essentially, art is a special market that is like it, it, it is a special market that is uh, participated by only a very uh, few group of people. Let, let me say the, the galleries, the museum, mm -hmm. and the collectors. Mm -hmm. However, it is not like the case that it is not open to the society. Like. For instance, now, when we have exhibitions, we invite people to come. It is usually the people that buy artwork, people that value artwork, that people that in. know about artwork, that come in. And again, our educational system do not uh, really teach about the value of artwork, too. Okay. They do not uh, make people to know that uh, there are people who are doing this, and making a living off it. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 personally. Uh, like, let me tell you something now. In Lagos, for instance, we have more than 300 artists, people like me, that are, are professional, uh, full time studio practicing artists. Mm -hmm. And um, whenever we want to do our events, our exhibitions, we always throw out the, our, our, our invitation to people to come. So people that know what we do and that accrue value to it, they find their way, they find their time to come. Mm -hmm. And again, it, it is also a very beautiful thing. Although, it, let me say about 20 years ago, 30 years ago, uh, the exposure that is given to African art, African, African contemporary art, mm -hmm. is not as much as what we have now. But thank God, we have some platforms like uh, Artex and uh, uh, auction houses like uh, Art House, contemporary uh, auction houses, where they project our activities, our production mm -hmm. to the Western world. And uh, I would also like to share with you that in the world of art, generally, globally, people have explored European arts, they have also explored uh, Asian arts, and right now, the beam, the, the spotlight is focused on 
African contemporary works. On African so art. So, the, the, yes, African art. So, mm. Af African art. The, the story is changing. Mm. And every artist who are actively established now and are doing their work, they are having their work shown to the Western world. Mm -hmm. Expatriates, they do come to um, see what we do and collect works too. And uh, also, again, thanks to the, to, the, to the group of collectors that we have in Nigeria, we have a, a dedicated group of passionate collectors in Nigeria who constantly support what we do. And uh, I can just tell you that there are some, some of them that collect at least an average of 100 works in a year. So, yes, of course. That's, that's they, nice. They, uh, we have, yes, we, we, we have a group of... Uh, of, of collectors that they personally go around looking for valuable artwork. And uh, these are the people that are the pillars of art collections in Nigeria. So uh, the exposure is there, mm -hmm. but it's just that it's for the headlight. Hmm. And the, the, the only way we can create a change is if we can introduce some curriculum in our educational system to make more people become aware of mm -hmm. uh, visual art, of temporary art, and uh, of some other form of uh, artistic uh, individuals. Okay, uh, quite interesting. Yeah, quite really, interesting. really interesting. Who would you say are some of your greatest art um, inspirations in Nigeria and abroad? Okay, good. Um, while I was growing up as an artist, I mean, uh, during my formative years, there are some people who uh, were like, Icon in art in the art world for me, people like uh, in let's say in Nigeria, let's start from Nigeria. People like uh, you, you saw Brillo, yeah. These are people that really started the uh, contemporary art scene in Nigeria. People like um, Ben Henwowu, Ben Henwowu too is a great Nigerian artist that is that is even respected all over the world right now. Then we have some Nigerians that are based abroad. I mean, mm -hmm. artists in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. People like Ian Kasho Nibare, yes. Uh, people like Peter Oka. These are living, living legends right now that are actively working from different parts of the world. We have Kende Willie, who is in US. So then again, talking about probably few uh, European artists, we have people like um, Pablo Picasso, which in, uh, almost every artist, you know, mm -hmm. want to look up to, which Picasso to his success and the way he has done uh, great in the 20th century mm -hmm. art world. Mm -hmm. So then, these are the people that influence my work, yeah. and these are the people that I kind of look up to, but probably uh, do better than, than them. <laughs> I was asking them to actually show yeah, these photos we're again. Seeing a, we're, you know, we're seeing photos of Pictures of, of the things you've done. And uh, there, I noticed a pattern. I noticed something you too noticed that something, I wanted to right? say. I think he does a lot of paintings of women. Yeah, I was trying to, I noticed a pattern. You have a lot of women, women paintings. paintings. And the other pattern is the eyeballs. The way you draw the, you, you yeah, draw eyeballs. the eyes. Like, okay, so why yeah, are you, yeah. want to know what exactly, is that your, your own style? Are you always uh, fascinated about uh, the, the, the female uh, gender? So you always want to paint them. And about the eyes, please, what's with the eyes? They all look big eyes, the same. What's the idea? Okay, I actually, now we're talking about what turns me out as, as an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, every artist has their unique way of depicting their stories. Okay. okay? Uh, what what stands me out essentially is uh, the way I execute my works. The, the, I I like to paint semi abstract works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Semi abstract. Yes. Are like uh, yes yes semi abstract. These are like uh, ethereal composition. The the way their body are are, are formed, mm -hmm. and they are quite colorful too. So. And I can also tell you that I did my research before, you know, I, I always do my research before I, I do my artistic project. Okay. So right now, the, my 
proof of work is termed as a leading public art approach, you okay. know, in the arts in Nigeria, in the contemporary arts in Africa. So they, they are quite unique. And um, talking about about women now, yes. I mean, women why are dramatic. Female? Why everybody. a lot of women on your yeah. team? Why the female? Okay, yes. Um, in, in a woman, you can tell the whole story of humanity. I mean, you can tell the whole story of humanity. But my artwork gives uh, voice to, let me say, something like feminism. Okay. I want to, yes, I, 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 I use my artwork to give voices to women in such a way that society should not look at them from a subservient uh, point of view okay. anymore. Okay. Because the, the world is changing. With regards to digital evolution, that we are having right now. We are seeing that the world has transcended from the agrarian economy mm -hmm. to, uh, industri to digital, uh, digital industrial revolution. Yes, where, civilization, yeah. yes, where before women used to be uh, wife of farmers or they, 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 they go to earth in the farm mm -hmm. before. But right now, women are also captain of industry. Yeah. Women are doing things that men were doing before. Mm -hmm. And they're probably even doing more. Mm -hmm. So my artwork stands to project this aspect of life. Myself, okay. I have uh, children, uh, and I, they, are, they are girls. So mm -hmm. I kind of look at the way this world is going to be for them in the next 10 years, 20 years. And there is a, a, a thing that is going around the world now that uh, the future is female. So I, I want my artwork to like project what is going to happen in the world wide world where mm. there is equal uh, rights to both men and women, mm -hmm. and there is also a balance in the way we, we see the female gender okay. in comparison to male, to gen male gender. So that, that's why I, I, I like there is a particular work I, I have there. Like a, uh, it's called Lady in Red. Okay. It's a depiction of a lady who is successful, who has given her time to mm -hmm. a choosing career, mm -hmm. and it's been celebrated by the society. So, these are the kind of work I do. There's sometimes too, I think men too. Okay. And if, if the subject matter goes in that direction. Oh, uh, well, the way you said it's like, eh, sometimes I paint men. It's, sometimes I'm not really interested in men, but I paint them. <laughs> uh, men will be like, say, I know paint them. Well, uh, that's, uh, that, that's very interesting. Uh, looking at the pattern at which you uh, decided to um, um, you, you drive your art through, I wanted to ask, is this a phase in your, in your art journey, or is this the style of a painting you would always be doing? You know, is this a phase? Is this a time, or is this a project? that you say, okay, you want to push with okay. this, or is it like a constant, if they want to know about you, this is the style of painting you offer? Okay, good. Um, we, are just, we sometimes work in series. We, we, we have uh, serial work that we do that probably cover one, from one period to the other. Mm -hmm. So this is, all, this, is a, this is actually a case. I will not stop until my message is but it's is taking aside to the people out, out there. Mm -hmm. So I will continue pushing this particular style. But mm -hmm. I also have, you know, in the pipeline, some other uh, new projects that I will be doing. But mm -hmm. for now, this is the style of work I'm doing right now. So okay. this is the series that oh. is actually being pushed out there. But even before now, there yeah. was a particular series I was doing. But also this, in the same... Uh, form in the same uh, figurative uh, composition, yeah. but it's a little bit different from this because in that particular one, I was using um, Adekra symbols of West Africa, mm -hmm. like to to show the world that uh, we Africans also had a way of communicating and writing, if, even before the Western before the Western culture world came in, okay. came and colonized world. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. The, the Adequa symbol of, of, of West Africa is a very unique, uh, let me say, hieroglyphics that you see in many places. Like if you go to Kano now, uh, I think in so, some uh, monumental 
structures in Kano, you will see some symbols there. Those are the agricultural symbols of Africa. And I, I, I use my series then, the art series then, that piece of work then, to project that message that we had a unique way in Africa of communicating between kingdoms, mm -hmm. between uh, yeah, some geographical location, mm -hmm. even before the white people came and sort of English and almost so many other things. So Interesting. That is uh, the... Beautiful. Yeah. Thank Beautiful. you for sharing your art and your talent with us. This has been a very interesting conversation. Thank you very much for joining us. And thank you for lending your voice to the fight for women and uh, activism right. in your own way. We do appreciate you and we wish you all the best with your career. Looking forward to seeing all the amazing stuff that you have ahead. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, guys.